Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. Good grief. This is, I don't even know how many times. Okay, I've been trying to film this thing. Um, anyway, let's, okay. All right, I think we're good. Welcome back to another Ramble Session on a Monday. I hope y'all are doing well. I know this is coming out a little bit late, but better late than never, right? I hope y'all had a great weekend and a great week last week. We had kind of a stressful week, I have to say. Um, some health issues have cropped up for me. And so we've had, you know, lots of doctor's appointments and um, scheduling tests and all of that, you know. So I would appreciate your prayers in that matter. Um, very much so. So please and thank you. I really do appreciate it. And thank you all so much for always keeping my husband in prayer. Um, so let's get on with it. This is my April journal. Uh, I made it out of a white, um, a nine by 12 white envelope. Super easy to make. I want to show you something interesting that happened. <laughs> uh, really kind of dumb that happened, but I'm going to share it with you because I'm all about sharing pretty much everything. Okay. I will show you in a minute and it, it's, it's about the, how many pages I put in the signature. So one of the things that I've been doing though, is, um, as I journal uh, or as I collect things, I do collect things along the way. If you'll notice, this is, this has been on here since the beginning. My husband and I took a walk up along the waterfront and he found this little bobber thing. And so he picked it up and, you know, said, Oh, I'm sure you could use that for your journal. So yes. And then I've collected other things as well. This is a little Publix bag that they were giving out a mini Publix bag. Is that not cute or what? That's our local supermarket. They were giving them out at the store. And at first my husband was like, oh no, I don't need that. It was a keychain, um, And then he was like, oh no, on second thought, I'll take it. You know, it's to remind us to bring our bags. Um, here in the United States, believe it or not, we do not, they are still supplying plastic bags. Um, yeah, not, not like over in Europe where, you know, you have to buy them or they're just simply not allowed. I th there might be some places in the U S where they're not allowed. I'm not really sure, but anyway, um, so this, and this right here, I wanted to show you, see, I can't remember what I've shown you and what I haven't shown you because I've filmed this like three times now. So, um, this is a little pocket that I received in Happy Mail. So sweet for my sweet friend Barbara over in the UK. And so I just decided to decorate it up with a little washi sticker and some Tim Holtz stickers. It says, be well. That's like my signature salutation on all your comments. Um, and then, is that what it's called? Salutation? No. Closure. Maybe closure? Hmm. Yeah. I was a creative writing teacher. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, so I took one of her little pieces of paper and I just put some little color on the background and then some more Tim Holtz little words, friends who inspire. And that is my sweet Barbara in the UK. So that was a lot of fun. And since the envelope was so cute and tidy, I decided to use it as a little, a little charm. Now, if I can just get it back in here, there we go. A little charm. Right. And I attached it with some of the thread that she had sent as well. And so, yeah, I just think it's a cute little idea to, you know, as you collect things, like if I had gone to the beach this, um, this month, which I haven't, but if I had, uh, you know, then I would attach like a shell or something, you know? Okay. So let me tell you the funny thing, funny, not funny thing that happened. Okay. So in the middle of the book, well, let me just tell you, see like doctor, doctor, doctor. Anyway. Um, I haven't been journaling all that much. I pretty much stopped on Wednesday, the 12th back here. I've done see, doctor, doctor, doctor. <laughs> I've, I have done some journaling. I flip back and forth, you know? And, um, anyway, that this is some private journaling in here, which I thought was a cute idea. I just added, you know, this little, like, um, I found this in my stash this is something I had printed a long time ago. And then this smush paper I turned into, you know, like that, like a threefold, you know, and then attach part of it onto here because I put like a little prayer card here. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So I've been journaling in some instances, have not been journaling in others. If you remember this picture right here, I love it. Um, yeah. I found a place for it. So there is all of that. Okay. But here's the interesting part. Let me find it. 
Oh, well, segue or not segue squirrel. Okay. Uh, I love this page. Okay. I love this page and, um, yeah, we didn't really do all that much today, all, this day, but we did go into town and I got this really cute, um, notepad and I loved it from Dollar Tree and my husband got me a little sticker book too. But what I love about this page are selfishly speaking here are these right here. And I just doodled them on, I have like a stack right here of, um, papers. Like whenever I do a printout of something, right. And I have extra, uh, copy paper. I just take my, this is a Pigma graphic one archival link. And let me just tell you, I've had this thing forever. Well, forever is a long time. I've had it for quite some time and it still has ink in it. So I'm very pleased about that. It came in a set of microns that I got moons ago. And so I just simply doodled these on copy paper and I love the juxtaposition between the black and white and the beautiful color, right? I just love it. Okay. Just wanted to share that with you. All right. So let's get to where I, let me, oh gosh, did I not have it? Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This is what I want to show you <laughs> guys. Oh my heavens. All right. I about had a fit the other day, right? I think I mentioned this back when I did some kind of, uh, when some kind of, what am I talking about? Jeez. When I did a video, right? It was probably last ramble session or last time I did a journal with me. I don't know. I was questioning myself, like, why is the center of this book here? Are my, you know, my threads, which I pulled so tight that they're ripped, <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyway, I was like, why is this the 12th? Like that just seems that's not right. You know, because the month is 30 days. And so the center of my book should be the 15th, right? And it's the 12th, which can only mean one thing. I went back and I counted all my pages, like, I don't know, 10 times and figured out that instead of putting 16 pages in, I want to save this because I want to get back to it. Instead of putting 16 pages and folded in half like this, which gives me enough space to have a double layout for each day of the month, right? I only put 12 in. I only put 12 pages. So I was missing four pages. And I was like, oh, good grief. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, like I generally make a mistake every time I, you know, make my own journal, but I've never made this one. <laughs> So I had to add in a second signature, but guess what? Okay. Here was my problem. This is a one signature book. Okay. And you can't like, you can't just like undo everything, which I have done that before I have undone all the sewing and just sew them in again. Um, but you can't do that and add these papers in because then you would end up with like a blank one up here and a blank one back here. You know what I mean? So, cause like this, like this white page right here is probably this page right here, this background page, right? So yeah, you, you can't do that. So what I ended up doing was I took my four pages, the extra four that I needed folded in half. This was craziness. And I was like, I really hope this works. And this is the back of the book, right? This is the beginning of the signature. And then I had this color page. It's all in the front of the book. So this is where the book ended. What I did was I took this little signature here, which was made up. See, so you can see it right here. This was the back of the book. And I took this signature and I actually just sewed it into the same holes that I had already for the original signature. So if you'll notice here, you can see there are two separate, like, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there are two separate, come on now, see that? <laughs> but they're in the same holes. Yeah, I don't know. When it was all finished, it was magical. And I'm surprised that I was able to do that. But yeah, so I just added in the extra four pages. So problem solved. Yeah. 
And I cannot believe like that this is, um, this month is coming to a close really quickly. Like today is the 24th. I can't believe it. I mean, six more days and we're in May, like craziness. (sighs) I don't know. So that's the journal front. I kind of like, I, I did think about, um, uh, filming it, right? Because, you know, I I think it's helpful to anyone who runs across this issue. (laughs) If you miscounted your pages and you need to add more, you could always, you know, add a tuck in or a tip out or a flip out or a tuck spot or something, you know, you can always do that, but I needed to add like, you know, four double spreads, right? So mm, that was a little challenging, but I, and it did work out in the end and it did go rather smoothly, but then, you know, I had already not filmed it. So sorry about that. If anybody's looking for a video on how to add an entire signature to a one signature journal, Mm, you'll just have to take my word for it, but it did work out and I'm super glad. Uh, I do need to go ahead and start making my, my May journal. So I don't know if I'm going to film that or not. We'll, we'll just have to see. I don't know. I'm not sure. So anyway, let's move on to what else I've been doing. I have been filming up a storm. Let me tell you, I haven't been working. I've been decorating a lot in here, but I haven't been necessarily journaling a lot in here. Um, yeah, so that's how this has been going. And then coming up this week, just so you know, I have been working in my color glue book and the color glue book, um, is super fun to work in super fun. And it's, it's just a composition book that's split up into the rainbow and also some teal and pink and black and white. And the idea is just to collect images of that color, uh, family, and then you just start collaging. Right. And so this week I did do, I did a green page in here somewhere. There it is. Beautiful. I did a yellow page, that yellow page, and I also did a red page, and I had so much fun. If you have not glue booked, you really need to try it out because it's very, very relaxing, and it's super fun. So there's that. I've been I've been working a lot on this, and it, it's been great. I can't wait to continue on with it. Then I had, if you watched last week's video, I had been working on this cutie patootie. And one of y'all said, Oh, you should call it little bit. Well, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for that sweet memory because little bit is what my mother used to call me <laughs> when I was little. Cause I was just a little bit. I was a tiny little thing. Um, so anyway, and then I grew up really tall. So, well, not super tall, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So this is my little journal, my just journal, my journal for no reason, my why not journal and everything generally speaking that I'm using in this journal comes from just this one little box of scraps. Okay. Um, I made this journal very quickly, uh, on one of my videos and I do believe there's a playlist just for this. It's, um, you know, just journal for fun. I think it's journal for fun. So there is that. And then, um, yeah. Then, so this is how this is going. It's been so much fun, right? Here's, I'll do just a quick little flip through the little tag right here. I was super inspired by, um, by Janet Nash to do this. So there's that, there's that so much fun things, little bits that I have saved over the years, little bits that I have printed out. Um, little bits from happy mail. This was so cute. This little tab that I made last time, little, just little scraps of fibers. This is a, a window cling. Um, this, I still need to add to like, here's a little pocket here that I can add stuff. And of course I can add stuff all, all on there. This has been so much fun. So freeing so relaxing just to sit in here. I mean, I was just, there's a little tag with a window envelope. That's how I figured that out. If you watch the other videos, um, just not, not at all pressure to do anything. Um, yeah, I just, I really, really have been enjoying it. 
just using bits and put it like they make no sense at all you know in some cases they make no sense at all but it's been a lot of fun here's a how's it hanging using up the stuff so a lot of fun in here this this just happened to be in there i love these full botanical this is from a, 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 a botanical book that i have and it was just hanging out so put a little piece of silky you know ribbon on it and call it macaroni and i can always go back in here obviously and i can journal about whatever i or i could use it as a quote journal i just used a three hole pamphlet stitch um, the, all these papers are from another scrap box that I have. Like my scrap boxes are usually defined by size. So if I have, you know, like if I have bigger papers, it goes in one box. If I have medium papers, it goes in another box. If I have smaller papers, it goes in here. So that's kind of how I do that. So I just took from that bigger box and made the signature. I don't know how many pages are in the signature, but quite a lot. Put this on there put this little thing on there open that up I don't the only thing I don't think I'm gonna do in here is like paint you know I probably will not use acrylic paint or anything like that I you know um, but anyway so yeah this is just a little collage that I started haven't finished it yet <laughs> these are like little pineapples on a collage background this is a tag that I made. It's just a simple cluster with a bunch of stuff on it and one of these printable girls and a magazine clipping. Love it. Little stickers down here. Little faith-based sticker here. This flips out like this. And just a cluster of different things that I had in Happy Mail. Here's a little tag that I can decorate on. Haven't done so yet, but there's that and yeah I think that's it so and then I ended up putting this little thing on as a tie I just weaved it through the spine thing here and this is simply the neckline of a t-shirt <laughs> I don't I very rarely wear t-shirts I used to wear them more often when I was working at the school with my daughter but I don't wear them generally speaking and so yeah um so I I always cut them off when <laughs> whenever I get them because it's just feel it's too confining t-shirts are just too confining for me so I don't like stuff like right around my neck like that so anyhow that's the tie that's the simple tie so that goes in there and I can just take this little basket and just work on just this so that's been a lot of fun and then the last thing I'll show you is my husband went to go get the mail yesterday and um, he came back with these <laughs> with these National Geographics. He's like, oh, look, I bet you I bet you there are a lot of, you know, fun things in there. And there are. My husband does want to read this article first. Pain. Scientists are unraveling the mysteries of pain and exploring new ways to treat it. Well, that's interesting. So let's see. This is from 2020. We'll see what that's all about. But look at that brain picture. I love that. Oh, look at that. Smelly feet. That's disgusting. Belly button? No, I will not be reading that, but that's super cool. Like, I could cut that out and put it in my color glue book. And that, too. That's just really cool. I don't, I don't care to know exactly what it is. No. But look at that purple. Yes. I say yes. That's interesting. Huh. It is beautiful when, I mean, this is about strep, which is not beautiful, but I mean, these are things that, you know, are magnified so much. It's, I just find it so interesting. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's feces. I don't even, I don't even know. Beautiful pictures, disgusting, whatever, but look at all that purple. Okay. That's all I care about. This is purple and orange. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, I'm going to read through these, I think, um, first. And, ooh, look at that brain. Look at that brain. Yeah. Super cool images. So there's that. I think these must have got wet at some point, which I don't really care. The end of trash. All right. Oh, those are cool, like black and white images. Those are interesting. Telescope. Um 
I have not read through these, so little monkeys, okay. Um, that's be she's beautiful. Look at that. Those are Bougainvillea. Mm, so pretty. I love this color right here. This specific color. I don't know what it is, what it's called specifically. Ooh, bees. Ooh, look at that cluster of bees. That would be interesting to put on a yellow page. Anyway, these will be really cool for my color glue book. I can't wait to go through these. How we lost the planet. So I got four of them. My husband got four of them for me. And they always have interesting, you know, images in them. So very cool. Somebody just left them out. These are all from 2020. Yeah, somebody just left them out on or by the um, yellow by the mailboxes. So I'm so thankful for him. He's always thinking about me and I appreciate it. Yeah. So those are super cool. These have some really cool images, however gross they are, but they are cool. Um, and I think that's it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and have a fabulous week. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.